Hello, St. Mary Grade 8's. Mr. McHenry back with another math lesson. We're going to be starting a new unit. The new unit's on probability. And when we say that word probability, we're saying the likelihood or the chance of a particular outcome or result. So where do we hear or use the word probability? Well, we hear it in the weather. You turn on the radio in the morning and you hear the probability or the chance of rain today. You hear it in sports. So for example, the probability or the chance the Maple Leafs will win the Stanley Cup this season. And we hear it in games of chance. So the probability of rolling a two using dice. And when we are talking about probability, we go from the impossible, which is zero or zero percent, to unlikely, which is greater than zero percent, but less than 50 percent, to likely, which is greater than 50 percent, but less than 100 percent, to certain, it is absolutely going to happen, which is 100 percent. We're going to be talking about two types of probability. We have theoretical probability, which is in theory, in a perfect world, this is what is expected or should happen. Theoretical probability is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. And sometimes theoretical probability is just referred to as probability. So let's use an example. A number cubed, okay, we have a cubed here, is labeled 1 to 6 on here. The number cube is rolled. What is the probability of rolling the number 2? Now, when you use probability, you really have to think... Use your comprehension skills in terms of uh, visualization. So visualizing what information is being told to you uh, and writing that down. So in this case, a number cubed is rolled. Well, what are the possible outcomes? Well, the possible outcomes are, could roll a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. Okay, what is the outcome that we're looking for? We're looking for to roll a 2. So the number of favorable outcomes here is there is one favorable outcome. Divided by the number of possible outcomes. Well, how many possible outcomes are there? Well, there are six possible outcomes. Okay, so the Pro theoretical probability of rolling a 2 is 1 sixth or so we can write a probability as a fraction or we can write it as a decimal which would be 0 decimal 1 6 6 repeating and we would round to 0 decimal 1 7 okay approximately so we can do it as a decimal and finally, we can do it as a percent. So remember, to get a percent, we have to times this by 100, and we get 17%. Okay, so we can write probabilities as either a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. Okay, let's continue with prob uh, theoretical probability. So this time we have the number cubed is rolled. And what is the probability of getting a number less than three? So again, what are my possible outcomes? So from the dice, I can get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. But I want to find the probability of getting a number less than three. So less than three is going to be either a one or a two. So what are my num how what are the number of favorable outcomes? Well, there are 
two favorable outcomes. So I'm going to write that in here, divided by the number of possible outcomes. And again, what are the possible outcomes? Well, the possible outcomes are all six. So two divided by six is equal to zero decimal three, three, three repeating. And I'm going to round that to 0.33 or equal to 33%. So there is a 30% chance or probability that if I roll a number cubed, that the number is going to be less than 3. And remember, this is in a perfect world. Okay? Now, what if we rolled that number cubed 40 times? What would we predict how many times a number less than three will show? So we have our percentage here, 33%, okay? So we're gonna take our theoretical probability, which is 33%. Okay, and we're going to times it by the number of times the event happens. So we're going to times it by 40. Now, I can't leave this as 33%, so I can change it back into a fraction. So 33 over 100 times 40, or I can even change it right back to a decimal, 0 decimal 3, 3 times 40. All right, and if I do that, and this is why I need a calculator. So if I take, if we, what is the chance or the probability that we will roll a number less than three if we roll the dice uh, 40 times? So I go 0 0.33 times 40 equals, there's a, the probability would be approximately 13.2, which would be there's a, thir so if we rolled the dice, 40 times, there is a chance that we will roll a number less than to 13 times. Okay? So that is dealing with theoretical probability. The second type of probability we're going to talk about is experimental probability. And in this case, you do the experiment or the activity. Okay? In the previous one, that was in a perfect world, this is what should happen. In this experimental probability, we are actually doing the experiment. And we know that it is not a perfect world. So we may get some outcomes that may differ from what we predicted would happen in a perfect world. So experimental probability are sometimes called Relative frequency is the number of times the outcome occurs divided by the total number of trials. And again, it can be written as a fraction, decimal, or a percent. So we have an example here. Uh, rolled cubed labeled 1 to 6 100 times. And here are the outcomes. So... The, on the die, 1 showed 20 times, 2 showed 25 times, 3 showed 10 times, 4 showed 15 times, 5 showed 9 times, 6 showed 21 times. What is the experimental probability of rolling the number 2? So an experimental probability, we take the number of times the outcome occurs because we actually did the experiment. So how many times did we roll a 2? Well, we rolled the two 25 times. And we're dividing it by the number of times, number of trials. And how many trials do we have? Well, if we add, we said we we're going to do it 100 times. And that's one way of checking is that all your numbers here should add up to 100. So what is the experimental probability? Well, as a fraction, it is 25 over 100. As a decimal, it is 0 0.25. And as a percent, it is 25%. Now you'll see that the experimental probability is 25%, but the 
theoretical probability that we predicted is 17%, and there's a difference there. And that is because in theoretical probability, it is a perfect world, and that is what should happen. But we all know that it is not a perfect world, and in experimental probability, we actually do that experiment. And because it is not a perfect world, that the experimental probability will not necessarily be equal to the theoretical probability. However, the more and more and more that we do the experimental probability, the closer and closer and closer and closer we will get to theoretical probability. Okay, so we talked about probability today and both theoretical probability and experimental probability. Please check on the D2L for uh, your practice questions.